spill the tea. There is a theory put forward by sociologists that the reason we were never sold any of the major human capacities that we face <laughs> is built into our DNA. Our animal power tells us why this broke, and they won't let us go. See, back in the day. When the world was one massive supercontinent, Pangea, knowledge, and we were closer to animal than human. Which is really a distinction. <coughs> Without the difference. Real talk. Shots fired. We, we are animals. We were built to survive from day to day. It wasn't useful to think long term. It wasn't, wasn't helpful to plan for 30 years. A hundred years. A thousand years time. All that mattered was. Now. Get food for my family. Now. Protect my family. Now. Make more family. Now. Thinking about our great. 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 Grandkids. <laughs> and what would be good for them? Was well, about as useful as a knitted condom. <laughs> the animals have had the DNA for long term planning. They were too busy thinking. And they got munched. Zay! And they didn't pass on their DNA. But the animals have got the job fucking done. Boom! Their DNA was death. Toast! Pass the fuck on. To yeah. us. Anyone else like really scared? 
nothing to be scared about. Yeah, we just woke up in the middle of nowhere, clothes have been put on, everything's amazing. Sarcasm is so cancelled. It's just not funny. It's all due. We'll work it out for as long as we stick together. Well, can't get the fuck out there. What? We're going. Me too. Where? Find a road. Well, we don't know if there is one. There's always road. We don't know what direction to walk in. Oh, come on, Reg. We're going. I want to go see. Fine, I don't care. No, we're not going. You mean the Greens? No, I just mean that no one should go until we've got a plan. The plan is, we go. That is not the plan. It totes is a plan. Okay, real talk. Yeah, we are fucked. This situation is fucked. We need to move out and we need to move down before it gets dark and we're stuck here for the night. We need to stay and think about this logically. Red, green, I don't care. Come with me if you want to live. I said that we needed to make one, not that I had one, but we need to stick together. Yeah, agreed. Totes. I feel that. Maybe if we wait here, someone might come and get us. Yeah, I was thinking <coughs> it might just be like a practical joke or something. Well, they could rent to get out there and send help, wouldn't they? Yeah. They make it out there some help. And if they don't, then at least we'll be alive. We could wait till night time and work out where the North is. How? The North Star. Does anyone know where the North Star is? Maybe the North. <laughs> Not funny. But the North Star could like be in the fucking North Pole. Like. I've got it. We wait two days. Two days? Well, that's how long it should take for help to come. And if it doesn't, then we know that we have to try ourselves early in the morning to get them in the sunlight. Two days. Logical, I suppose. So we're together on this? What's wrong? We're on a fucking island. Oh, and gosh. <laughs> Thirsty. What, like looking for attention? No, actual thirsty. Oh, 
Maybe that's why we were being so mean girls to each other. Mean girls? That's a film, right? Yeah, I think so. We need to find food and water. Want to go get a sign? How long can you last without food and water? Well, maybe one of these clever ass greens knows. Hell yeah! Look, if you get to shore, you don't have to worry about that, am I right? It's like three weeks without food and five days without water. So we need water more than food then? Yeah. There's water all around us. <laughs> Are you serious? How have you made it this far not knowing you can't drink seawater? Maybe we are the clever ones. Lol. Well, it might be fucking lake water, remember? Um, I'll go check. Do you think you really could make it? It was less than five as well, so yeah. You are like my actual hero right now. Like when I grow up, I want to be like you. You are so adulting right now. I can't even swim like a, a single length. <laughs> Just fucking can't. And if you do, 
do, miss it. There's no hiding. Because you'll see the evidence of it. Public. Indelibly imprinted on the internet. Forever. You'll see the pictures. Be instant. The status update. The tweets. And you'll know for sure you missed out. Whereas Pomo, the pleasure of missing out, is what you get when from outside of your squad. Your fan, your woes. Invite you to an event, and you can't make it. One time, a bunch of scientists separated a group of non familial mice into two tribes and isolated them in a cage. They painted one lot red and the other lot green. Despite the fact they knew they were really all the same, the red mice and the green mice started to fight with each other over food, water, sex. And then the scientists took a red mouse out of the cage and put it in another cage where all the other mice could see them. A fucking cray cray thing happened. The other red mice started clamouring at the bars of the cage to try and get out, to try and join them. But all the green mice just sat there and like... Yawn! Boring! Whatever! The red mice all got FOMO. And the green mice all got HOMO. It's instinct, am I right? Trying to keep us safe. At least they used to. They used to be useful. The instinct, built into our DNA, used to serve a purpose. And now the instinct still remains. A remnant. A misfiring sequence. While the purpose it does has long ago gone. And now tribes don't stop and fill up. Am I right? <laughs>
doing there? Did you say people could eat the things they kill? It's not just for food. We need to keep warm. I'd rather die of cold than starvation. And I'd rather die of both and eat an animal. When did you become a vegan? Can't really remember, actually. Ages ago. I'm not a vegan. I'm a veggie. Oh, eating. Well, that's almost worse, you know. I know. Worse than what? Well, I'd rather eat meat than dairy. Dairy's the worst of all. Well, I do eat meat sometimes. So you're not a veggie then? <laughs> I'm trying. I know it's bad. Like, how could it not be bad? Making animals fuck and puck so they have kids, and making them pregnant so they make milk, and keeping them away in big sheds. It's not even close to not being bad. I'm, I'm just... Addicted? Addicted? You know it's bad, but you can't stop. What else would you call it? I suppose. I'm actually a fruitarian now. Fruitarian? Yeah. I only eat fruit that's naturally fallen from the trees. Oh. I mean, I'm trying so hard to stay a vegan. But then I got to thinking, well, how come a plant is worth less than a pig? Because it can't think. And how do you know? Seems obvious. <laughs> Animals, humans, plants. Why is there even hierarchy at all? I think if the thing doesn't even notice a thing, then it's a... Uh probably all right to eat. Yeah, but how do you know what does and what doesn't know that it's a thing? I don't think plants really exist, to be fair. Two of them seek my cousin, and it's not that I'm meant to leave like a one-year-old, so... Um, <laughs> I really don't think we should eat this table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, your cousin's disabled? Yeah, so? I know, just bring them back. Maybe we know each other. Maybe. Isn't it, like, natural and shit for us to eat meat like carnivores or whatever? It's also natural for us to kill people from other tribes. Should we do that now? <laughs> I'd rather you didn't. You're being mistaken, man. Me too. It's nice. Nom nom. Nom nom. Oh, you're both disgusting. <laughs>
how it got a moth. And I think these berries might be alive. Moths and possibly poisonous berries, really? What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. You're saying we killed them. WTF? Seriously, WTF, man. That is seriously no chill, man. No, I'm not. I'm saying we wait, and when they die... We have a knife now. We can cut... Stop!
you know that when you meet someone new, your brain asks three questions. On its own, without even knowing about it, it asks, can I kill it? Is there a threat? Can I smash it? Is there a chance to procreate? Can I munch it? Is there a chance to sustain myself? No, no, no. Kill, smash, munch. The creatures whose brains do not ask these three instinctive questions was around long enough to pass on their DNA. Savage? What we did, we did survive. How were we to know what the real cause of our situation was? I mean, we had no idea. The whole thing was cray-cray. Here are the facts. One, they were here before us. So they know more than we do about this. Yes, thanks. Two, they have a list of our names. So they know why we're here. Props. Three, they were split into green and red. So they know what we're going to do here. Death. We need to act. Act how? We've already tied you up. What more can we do? You know the reason why we've got people in prison. Why? Because we can. And what do you mean? You know, back in the caveman days, if someone threatened the community, they didn't have prisons, so they would just, you know. But now we have the money to be ethical. Exactly, but we don't. I'm starting to think these groups are to sit on and tell them. Well, duh. It's random. Some experiment. Some cruel experiment to see how we react. Probably some satellite popping up in space. Some TV show. On the dark web. The billionaires. Or the darks. <laughs>
don't do anything too bad. And so, rumour has it that this base sent a plane to drop a particular compound on an area of Wester Rocks. Which is famous for its midgets. You know, those little blood sucking insects whose instinct drives them to find them. And they don't know they're being total dicks. They don't know they're ruining our picnics. So, go easy on them. FFS. For fuck's sake. The compound was designed to do one simple thing. It was designed to make people unable to keep track of time. To make it seem like it was passing faster than it actually was. Which would make them understandably anxious. Panicking. Because human beings need to know what time it is. And how long they have left before they die. So they can fix things quick. And so... The military released the gas over the area and wanted a few inhabitants. And everyone was safe. Confused. But safe. However, as a unexpected side effect, the military found to have the inhabitants with short term memory were severely compromised. Most of them didn't even recognise their immediate family. But within a few days, the effect were off and nobody was any the wiser. And the test was declared success. A secret success. But what the military did not know was school group from Great Torrington School were on a little island called Eileen Souvain, which is like Scottish for Island of Berries. Their teacher, Mrs. Jogglestone, was a real genius nut, and she wanted to show off a kid to get supplies without her phone for a few days. This school group and their teacher exposed the effects of the compound when a little mad. They were going to play capture the flag and had gone to scope out the island when a cloud of gas was released. The school group were on the island for three days total. And when the dead body of one of their number was caught in a fisherman's net, alarms were raised, house were raised, and the school kids were found shooting their leader. None of us choose to be born. One day we just woke up and we were hit. None of us choose to die. One day we just go to sleep and disappear. None of us choose to survive. It's just... There. It's inside, inside us. It's, it's animal! Tiger! Savage! But the good thing about us, about human, is that we can try to be better. Toast. Like dogs. When we can try to ignore that instinct, that, that desire to fix things now. To think only of today. Because we're not going to fix this planet ever. 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 Until we admit, it's not the planet we're trying to save. It is us. The planet just happens to be where we live. It can't be saved now. We, we can't be saved now. We have to stop thinking about now. Impossible. No, we can do it. If we work together. Listen to each other. I mean, really listen. And try to think about things in a different way. We can do it. We're, we're different. different. We're better than animals. We're